Pass, uh, maneuvering characteristics, automate, uh, augmentation system developed by the company Boeing. Um, I find this technology, this innovation very interesting because it was built for unusual flight conditions. Um, to talk a little bit about Boeing and where do I get the sources of my information, uh, I use Robinhood, a platform that allows people to invest, buy stocks for free online uh, from uh, various companies. Um, last year during the pandemic, as many know, uh, companies were not performing well and the market uh, kind of suffered a uh, slight crash. Um, like for example, Boeing, the, the price of, of a share for Boeing was around $300 and after the pandemic or during the peak of the pandemic, it went down to $95 and it stayed around uh, that realm. It has, but now it has been improving. So this platform allows me to see the performance of the companies and it gives me news, updated information in regards to these companies. For example, this article was uploaded four hours ago. The Wall Street Journal published an article 22 hours ago. Why is the MCAS, this uh, technology, very relevant today? Well, two years ago, uh, some of you may know, Boeing 737 MAX was released and it was an airplane that caused the deaths of 346 people. Um, the main reason, uh, I have a, there's a video here. So what happened is that the airplane that Boeing developed, the 737 MAX, was basically the 737 airplane, but with bigger engines here on the wings. This video explains a little bit what was happening. So the airplane was built, um, sorry, the airplane remained the same, but the engines of the 737 MAX, which allowed the airplane to use less fuel and fly for longer hours, and it was going to save airlines a lot of money, and that's why this was an attractive investment two years ago. Uh, airlines were, bought, were purchasing these planes because it was going to fly for longer distances using less fuel. And in order to do that, Boeing just increased the engine size, making the 737 a max, max plane. 737 max. So in this video, as you can see, it shows what was happening since the engines were too big were too heavy it was causing the plane to not be stable and too high and to fly into high zones the airplane as i said was designed um, the, um, it was the same airplane but with a bigger engine so boeing developed the mcas what does it do it provides consistent airplane handling characteristics in a very specific set of unusual flight conditions the plane was not prepared um, to for this type of size in the engine and pilots were not properly trained to maneuver this software system that was very complex right here maneuvering characteristics augmentation system this is the this the sensor system that Boeing developed and it was not it was not appropriate the training that was provided for for pilots was not appropriate as you can see here there was a two-hour iPad, iPad training course to the pilots. So, of course, since this was a very complex software um, and pilots were not prepared for it, it caused the deaths of 346 people. Now, but, uh, but if we go back to our graph here, the, uh, last, well, last year, um, Boeing began to increase their sales in this airplane and you will say, wait, how does that happen? Uh, two incidents just happened to two different airlines from two different countries. Why will sales eventually start increasing? Well, because there was enhancements in the in this innovation. Um, the, these are the enhanced protections. Um, it used to have two sensors. Uh, it used to have one sensor system, and now it has two. Two, uh, from two angles um, sensors and then each sensor will submit its own data to the airplane's flight control computer will only activate it if both sensors agree so it has two measures of protection when two years ago it only had one this is important because this airplanes again are gonna be 
uh, responsible for the lives of, of hundreds of people, and more precautions need to be taken. Another precaution that Boeing took uh, was the training. Instead of a two-hour iPad training, pilots must complete now 21 or more days of instructions and simulator training to operate the 737 MAX. Um, again, Boeing enhanced the technology, enhanced the training, and implemented these new these new protocols so that to avoid to avoid this ca catastrophic incidents. So this is why I find this technology very interesting, and this is why computer science is very very important to know, particularly for professions like pilots who have. Um, who are responsible for the lives of people. And this is not to blame the pilots at all. This was Boeing. This is Boeing's fault. This was Boeing's responsibility for not implementing the proper guidelines and protocols to pilots and airlines for stating that the airplane was basically the same as the previous one um, not, and, and not following the proper guidelines of security. Um, will this new technology this will this new technology create more jobs as you saw Boeing has been um, of course the pandemic the the, uh, the pandemic um, is the the situation with the pandemic is ameliorating it's improving but during the peak of the pandemic um, a lot of air a lot of airlines decided to invest in this plane um, and the reason why is because the training changed the technology was enhanced so of course jobs in the sale and sales and marketing increase and technicians that now implement this training to pilots also have have an opportunity have jobs I don't think this innovation will displace job and, and uh, if anything it will make Boeing a more competitive uh, company which is good for the US because it is our it is our is it is an American company that provides jobs to American people and we have the bigger competition is Airbus the the European airplane manufacturer and and they're very competitive as well so if Boeing doesn't stay on top of, of their sales of their technology innovation and development then of course um, airlines are gonna buy planes from Airbus um, so yeah this is my presentation uh, it, this a uh, reflection of why computer science and understanding computer science and and you know these systems of, of, of sensors and 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 this complex softwares need to be understood by the people that will be operating um, people need to have knowledge in computer science to avoid this incidents because I mean this is this is just one example of how lack of knowledge in computer science could harm people's lives. So yeah, it's important. Thank you.